Wow. Wow. Rockstar Games. Wow. What can you say? What can you say? Hey, y'all. Ryan here with Camp Gaming. Before we even get started, I know I look absolutely ridiculous in this hat, but I wanted to celebrate. A new GTA only comes around every decade, so I'm going all out. I'm going all out. And we're here to find out if this trailer is anything to go by, is this new GTA going to live up to the hype? And what are some dreams, hopes, and desires that we have after watching this footage? Now, I know I normally don't do these kinds of videos on this channel, at least so far, but like I just said, a new GTA feels worthy of a reaction video to the new trailer that dropped earlier this week. If you've been living under a rock, uh, Rockstar Games just released the new, or trailer one rather, for GTA 6, their upcoming Grand Theft Auto game. It was supposed to release on Tuesday, but a leaker uh, jumped the gun and grabbed the video off the internet and shared it with everyone with a stupid Bitcoin logo across the center and Rockstar had to cut them off at the head and go ahead and release the trailer early. Sucks for the devs, but here we are. Now for my money, Rockstar Games are the cream of the crop, the number one game developer that has ever existed. Uh, I love their games so much. Red Dead Redemption 2 is probably my favorite game of all time that I've ever played. And I've been playing games for quite some time since uh, I'm pretty old. Yeah. And as you can see, I purchased the special edition of Grand Theft Auto V when it came out. At least I think this is where this came from. And yeah, it looks really stupid on me. But anyway, let's dive into the trailer, take a look at everything, see what we can pick out, all the little details. Rockstar loves to hide all sorts of little details in there for its fans to pick out and tear apart up until release. It's probably going to be a while before we see the next trailer, trailer two for GTA 6. So we should pour over this one and enjoy it and dissect it while we can, don't you think? All right, so let's dive in together and let's get started. All right, scene number one. This is a highway. Uh, you have, uh, looks like, three lanes on each side going in opposite directions. A beautiful either sunrise or sunset here. Uh, off in the distance, we have a waterway with some birds flying overhead. A plane in the sky. It looks to be, uh, looks like there's a prison in the back, in the far right back of the frame. Uh kind of off-center there, maybe a water treatment facility there off the highway, some palm trees. Go a little bit further, and we can see a boat zooming down this waterway here, and there is a huge radio tower. If you look in the very back, almost near where the sun's coming up, you can see a huge tower of some sort there, and a city skyline, which I'm assuming that's going to be Vice City, but we're not sure. According to Rockstar's official website, uh, this game is going to take place in the state of Leonida, which is a riff off of Florida. Uh, the previous game that featured uh, Vice City or parts of Florida was called GTA Vice City, starring Tommy Versetti. But all we really got in that game was the city itself. We really didn't get the state or the surrounding or much of the surrounding areas around the city. So it's going to be nice to see them actually tackle probably the entire deep south here with maybe Florida, maybe parts of Georgia, South Carolina, New Orleans. That was a that was a terrible that was a terrible Cajun accent, I'm sorry. And you know, there are tons of uh vehicles here on this highway. I got a, a semi truck, a Patriot beer truck, um mass transit bus, a couple of vans, box trucks, uh a truck, a pickup truck that's pulling a speedboat. So as you can see, there are already a ton of variety in the vehicles just in this one shot alone. So next scene here, we have, it looks like the same area, same time of day, or at least that's how they want us to perceive it. And it looks like we're looking at the outside of a prison and we can see the parking lot either on the outside of the prison or on the inside, kind of hard to tell. But we have the barbed wire fence there. And here we have our first look at one of the game's protagonists, uh, which we know of are at least two, Jason and Lucia. 
And here is our first official look. <laughs> if you've been following closely, you know this isn't the first time we've seen Lucia, but the official, first official look of Lucia here as she's dressed in her inmate clothing, staring out the prison window. That's actually a pretty nice window, I would think, for a, um, a, prison, a prison cell. Pretty nice view there. But you can just tell from this shot, the lighting is just absolutely incredible. And going by Rockstar's past games, every time they've ever showed us a game, they don't use cinematics. Everything that you see in this trailer is probably captured in-game and is pretty much what the game is going to look like when we finally get our hands on it in 2025. So here we see the prison yard, prisoners out there, Lucia's looking out. You can see there's some pictures over here to the right underneath one of these bunks and above the top bunk. It's kind of hard to tell what's on the picture on the top bunk. The picture on the bottom looks like a family, uh, four people, one of them possibly an inmate wearing orange. And someone is talking to Lucia. We see that it's a lady named Stephanie who is either a counselor or possibly a parole officer. Do you know why you're here? We see lots of pictures behind Stephanie of her family, and she's asking Lucia, why are you here? Sort of echoing the GTA 5 trailer where we uh, Michael DeSanta is telling us why he moved to Los Santos. Kind of, why are you here? Why are we focusing on this place, this story at this time kind of, kind of vibe? Yeah. And Lucia bad says, luck, bad luck, I guess. Uh, in this shot... We get an even better look at Lucia, um, some pamphlets on the back, a, a vest hanging on the wall, a painting. And here we have a beautiful shot uh, flying overhead on the waterway. We see dolphins, sharks, speedboats, tons of birds flying overhead, uh, sea dews, people out enjoying the water. Uh, you can see that there's like seaweed or you know, some kind of debris under the ocean. So it has a really nice, transparent, beautiful blue look. We can see that there are tons of uh, segmented sets of umbrellas here on the beach uh, belonging to each individual resort, I'm assuming, that's on the coast here. And look at this skyline. Man, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, if you look closely, you can see various people, lifeguards, um, lifeguard towers, uh, perhaps a lifeguard truck here zooming across the back of the beach. Really, really great detail here in this skyline. There is a plane, looks like a some sort of dodo seaplane flying in the background. A helicopter here flying overhead. Just little details that if you weren't pausing this, you would probably not be able to catch everything. You can see the plane flying overhead is, is um, trailing behind it as one of those advertisement banners. It says 919 or something like that. Why stay... Why 69 when you can 919, I think is what it says. Okay. Here we have another great look at some of the resorts here on the beach. We have a plane flying overhead, spraying chemtrails everywhere. And if you look at the very beginning of this shot, you can see what looks like uh, one of those moving arms that comes down in front of like a, a train. To stop the traffic, I'm not sure exactly the official name of what those are. Lots of nice little details on the balconies of the hotels here as well. You see towels and surfboards and floats. Here we have another beautiful shot of possibly a sunset or sunrise of one of the fan boats that people use out in the swamps. This is going to be a blast to ride around on, I guarantee it. Looks like there's at least two people riding on this thing, one of them with a shotgun, possibly Lucia, we're not sure. Uh, some geese or ducks or mallards flying overhead. This looks like Red Dead Redemption 2 style scenery here. This is absolutely gorgeous. Here we have more shots of the swamp and the wildlife. We have some flamingos, cranes, maybe they're called cranes, uh, some gators, some sort of deer looking animal in far center. Um, another beautiful shot that could be ripped straight out of Red Dead Redemption 2. Absolutely gorgeous. And it looks very dangerous. to Maybe if you took off running from the cops here and ran through this area, you would probably end up gator food. And this shot right here is 
absolutely stunning. Just look at all the detail packed into this one shot here. All of these people look completely unique. Clothing is all completely unique. I don't think I see anything repeated. If you see anything repeated here, let me know in the comments below because I have yet to pick out a detail or a person that looks like a repeated asset. But yeah, you can see this guy here on the far left. He's spraying his lady friend down with some sunscreen. We've got some people sunbathing over here on the right. A gaggle of girls here in the front walking down the beach, all with meticulous detail, necklaces, glasses, swimsuits, tattoos, different skin tones, different levels of glossiness on their skin. We have this very athletic couple in the center here jogging down the center of the beach with their little chihuahua. Uh, you can see that the man is actually checking his uh, Fitbit or watch, keeping track of how many calories he's burning. Just incredible details here. To the far right, we have a gentleman filming some nefarious videos of his uh, lady friend twerking on the beach here. Not safe for work. Good thing there's no children out here. This would be appalling to witness in public. And you can just go on down the beach all the way to the end of the skyline there. There's just tons of stuff happening. People drinking, uh, jet skis in the water. It looks like there's a trailer pulled into the water down there to maybe collect the jet skis. Looks like there might be some people taking selfies together, dancing. We have what looks like one, two, five aerial, at least five aerial vehicles in the air in this one shot. And of course, the beautiful Vice City skyline in the distance. And if you look closely on the umbrellas here, we see the name of Soul Sisters Resort or hotel. A lot of stuff to pick out in this shot. Moving forward, we have some speedboats out here in the harbor um, going past the BTN, BTN Del Mar, a huge ship, cargo ship. Uh, this is down in the docks, the industrial area of the city, I'm sure. You can see a huge um, bridge that crosses the inlet there in the background. We have three different types of of speed boats here. You can tell they're all different types, different colors. Not sure who these characters are. I'm assuming these guys in the front here are of some importance to the story of, in some way. And we see a plane taking off in the background as well. Here we have a great shot of what I assume to be Jason and Lucia because you can kind of catch a glimpse of Jason here looking up at her and, and I'm pretty sure it's them. Looks like they're living pretty glamorous here in a nice red sports car with some really cool uh, interior LED lights glowing, some blue lights there. In the background, it looks like there's someone hanging out of a car window, either taking photos of them or who knows. It, it looks like he's taking photos, maybe paparazzi or something. But Lucia is having an incredible time here. Living life to the fullest, living dangerously, hanging out the top of the convertible in a nice dress, wearing a bracelet, jewelry. Looks like they're having a night out on the town and enjoying themselves. This could be some sort of mission that we end up doing in the game, uh, maybe trying to impress the paparazzi or try to evade them. Who knows? Rockstar seems to have, in all of their GTA games, at least one mission involving some sort of photography or escaping a, a newspaper or... Uh, paparazzi trailing you, stuff like that. So maybe that's in the same vein here. And this building in the background, I'm not sure what its uh, real-life counterpart is. If anyone knows, please let me know. But this is a really fancy-looking building back here with the purple, blue, and uh, teal lights kind of match the vibe and colors of the game. And there are some more vehicles in the distance, a little bit too blurry for me to pick out exactly what they are. Here we have a shot that looks like it's some sort of car meet here and maybe a more run down part of town. Lots of detail in this shot. Just the overall density of the NPCs in all of these shots is pretty staggering. There's going to be so many more, so much more traffic and NPCs it looks like bringing life to the game world. We see some low riders here, lots of people hanging out in this one spot, some Really colorful graffiti on the buildings here. And looks like we have two planes and maybe a helicopter in the sky. We also see a motorcycle, lots of guys hanging out, 
uh, talking, looking at their phones. Here we have our first shot at the in-game strip club, or at least one of them. Sometimes there's been more than one in these games. I know this is a trailer um, for mass consumption, but it'll be interesting to see if nudity is included in this version of GTA. It always has been in the past, but in this scene, we, of course, you don't see any. And just look at how packed this room is. It looks like you can barely even get through it. Uh, there's so many people doing so many different things. Makes me wonder, is it going to really be this packed when we play the actual game? Uh, you see some people with some champagne bottles in the background. We see money is flying all over the place. Uh, a banner in the background saying, make it rain Mondays, which makes me think, it is there going to be actual days of the week in this game where things change according to what day it is? Who knows? Might be a little wishful thinking on my part, but... They always push the envelope. Rockstar always pushes the envelope and does things you don't expect, adds new things that you never would expect them to add. And maybe that's one of the um, innovations that they're adding to this game. Maybe it has an in-game calendar of some sort. They did say that this was going to push the envelope um, in their official statement that the biggest evolution of the GTA franchise yet. So... Be on the lookout for some big innovations, guys. That's all I got to say. This one gentleman's shirt is an in-game band. What's the name? I can't remember. Dolls of Destruction or something like that. If anybody knows, let me know. Here we have a scene with two gentlemen greeting each other. Just look at the detail on these guys. Everything from the blemishes on their faces to the, the grills, the chains. Each individual necklace has its own physics. The tattoo work. Man, it's just... So much detail packed into every second of this trailer. It's just mind-blowing. And I'm assuming since we are uh, looking at these two guys, they are important to, to the story in some way. They look highly detailed, like they're going to be characters that we either interact with or maybe one of them is playable. You don't know. I'm assuming since the official artwork only shows Jason and Lucia that they are going to be the only two playable characters, but maybe they're thinking to surprise us with something. But I don't think so. I think if they were going to have more than two playable characters, they would have shown us that in this trailer. Here we have another absolutely gorgeous shot of the city, the waterway. Just a really nice drone shot here. Look at all of these boats out in the water. We have all kinds of various different yachts. Mega super yacht over there on the right. Um, looks like there's a toll booth here in the front of the frame. Just going all the way back to the beautiful sunset. And we can see the purple and blue hues of the sky as the sun is setting. Yet again in this shot, we have multiple aerial vehicles, uh, planes, helicopters. Yeah, really nice shot here. And for some reason, this landmass here reminds me of GTA Vice City. You know, there's that one bridge and kind of island where Tommy's eventual mansion exists that you end up having at the end of the game. I wonder if that is kind of in this same area or close to it. And yet again, here we have another cre incredible shot. Uh, just tons of street traffic, tons of NPCs here all milling about doing different things. Each one of them looks completely unique. Uh, we see the a returning vehicle here in the front, the Cheetah, which has been in almost every GTA, if not all of them. Uh, we see some fire in the background, the Ocean View Hotel, which was Tommy Versetti's, I think, first safe house in GTA Vice City. We see a gentleman here taking photos, and if you look closely at his phone, it looks like what he's pointing his phone at is actually what he's pointing his phone at. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it looks like he, he's taking a picture of something over there at the hotels, and it looks to be reflected accurately on his phone screen. I don't know if that's something they just did for this trailer or if that's going to be legit in the game. That's pretty cool. We have three ladies here walking down the strip, uh, enjoying the warm night air, and a what looks to be a homeless man on the ground here. Maybe not homeless, but definitely sitting on the sidewalk. And it looks to me like he has a iguana or something on his shoulder. And he's asking these ladies for something. In the very back, you see Hotel Dixon as well, and a building that says Boardwalk. Here we have a shot of a nightclub scene uh, with a DJ performing a set. There's a lady in the front with an Asian-style fan dancing. 
Uh, I know some people online have speculated as to who this DJ is, if she's a real-world person or a real-world DJ making an appearance here in the game. I'm not really sure, and I can't remember who everyone said they think she is. But it's nice to know that stuff like nightclubs and strip clubs and all this nightlife stuff, which is an important part of the Miami beach scene, I'm sure, is going to be available in the game day one. Now this shot might be my favorite shot in the entire trailer. It's a beautiful shot of what I think may be highways leading out to the Keys, the in-game equivalent of the Keys, Florida Keys. We have lots of little islands spread about. You can see blimp in the far back of the shot. Uh, a bridge here on the right is derelict and torn apart. Looks like it'd be a great place for a jump, a stunt jump of some kind. Lots of different vehicles here on the highway, a seaplane flying overhead, a few boats, and a huge cargo boat, a couple of cargo boats here moving some, some stuff. Looks like there is a campfire or some sort of smoke signal being um, burned out here on the beach somewhere. And it looks like there's a lot of opportunity for exploration on these little islands out here. Really cool, really cool. And there's some sort of, I don't know if this is like a marina or something right here in the bottom left. It's like a place where we could launch a boat, maybe uh, buy some fishing gear and go fishing maybe. I don't see a pier, but fishing has to be in this game, right? Has to be. And here we have the infamous bikini girl that everyone is talking about online. Absolutely stunning. You see she's at some sort of rooftop party. Everyone's enjoying the hot tub or a pool enjoying some drinks. She's wearing a designer swimsuit. Look at the individual physics on the necklaces here, her bracelet, and she's got her manicure done. Now, I've seen a lot of people online discussing whether or not this is Lucia, and I 100% think that this is Lucia. It has to be. Um, if you line up some earlier shots of her, she has some um, body marks that that match up perfectly, some moles on her arms and her face. Some people have said that not all of the moles are on her face from the previous shot, and, well, duh, women wear makeup and cover up some stuff. She's definitely wearing more makeup in this shot than she was in the pris prison scene. So I 100% think that this is Lucia. I don't know if she's acting a part in this shot, uh, trying to blend in with some high-profile people to get close to their money. Or if maybe at some point in the game we graduate to this kind of status and we're living uh, this rich and famously. Paparazzi was snapping photos at her earlier. Maybe she becomes famous in the game somehow. Moving on, we have a shot of the vice sign here as the sun is setting or rising. In this next part here, we start seeing what a huge part social media is going to play in this game with tons of different... Um, what you would call the in-game TikTok or Instagram reels or whatever. Everything's filmed vertically. Here we see the dad bod squad. Hey, Poppy, save some sugar, baby, for the rest of us. Living it up, dude looks kind of like Jeff Bezos on his yacht, dancing with a bunch of people. I'm really interested to see if we can create um, or if we're going to have in-game profiles here on the social media networks and we can follow these different people it would, it would be really cool if there was some sort of asynchronous multiplayer where we could take photos in game of our you know GTA online characters and post them here stuff like that that would be really cool it would also be really cool if um, this social media stuff was actually a way for us to trigger missions or meet up with certain characters in the world that would be really awesome also here we have official poach Stay alert, VC. Remember to check for uninvited guests before the pool party. And as many people have already pointed out, a lot of these social media scenes are stuff that's actually happened in real life, and Rockstar is kind of um, emulating things that have happened in Florida and other crazy places. And we have like a, a wildlife guy here pulling a gator out of a pool, which is a thing that happens a lot in Florida. And you can see some bamboo here in the background. Just look at the foliage, man. It's incredible. It's interesting. It will be interesting to see if we can actually work for a place like Official Poach and actually do wildlife missions. Um, maybe that's what the fan boat was. Maybe you can ride through the swamp and kill rodents or something. Who knows? 
Here we have Have a Vice Day, a beautiful lady here twerking on top of a vehicle, riding down the street. Not something you see every day, especially here in North Carolina. Uh, someone called the Department of Transport on this dump truck. Have a Vice Day with the eye emojis. Living it up. Living it up. Here we have what looks like to be like a car meet scene. You know, this is something that they're banning all over the country. People doing this kind of stuff, these burnout things. People are getting killed left and right doing this stuff. Very dangerous. Don't do this this stuff, okay? Don't do it. But it looks like there's a little bit more going on here than just a standard teen car meetup or something. If you look really closely in the center, there's a pink car. Two people are dancing on top of the car. And if you look really closely at the rear bumper of the car, it looks like there's a gentleman holding a camera, like a really nice pro camera, and he's filming these guys. So is this some sort of music video being filmed here? Because in this scene, we have what looks like the same two people dancing on top of the car. Maybe this is an extension of that scene. This is what he's filming. And this is, says, Going Crazy, Zaza Nugget, the best song right now, Fire. Long time coming. We really out, yeah. Shane C. Ayo, catch a vibe. Your girl, 99. Fitting to spin the block with this one. And then Lick Lick says, this is the poop bomb. Yeah. Getting lots of hearts on this one. Blowing up. But yeah, I think this is probably a character that we're going to interact with in the game. Um, maybe this is how Lucia gets in with the, the famous people. Maybe she becomes this artist's manager, maybe, or who knows. But I think this is a musical artist that we're going to be involved with in the game somehow. Here we have a security camera footage shot of a convenience store where a gator is just waltzing right in. You can see the Go Postal uh, logo at the top of the door there. You can see there's some sort of lottery. Maybe, maybe we can play the lottery. That would be cool. Uh, you can see paper towels on the floor there or toilet paper, one or the other. A nice little counter with some baked goods, some donuts and cakes. Uh, and a gentleman in the back just trying to enjoy his breakfast and a dang gator walks in the door. Only in Florida. Here we have police officer badge cam footage of a police raid. They're kicking in a door and entering a building. This is giving me vibes of an in-game television show, maybe like Cops or something like that. It would be really cool if we could actually play as a cop in the game. Maybe Jason's a cop. There were rumors before this trailer dropped that one of the in-game characters was a crooked cop. Just saying. Here we have another social media shot. Planet Leonida Man. Usually you got to hit the strip club to see Jiggle like that for real. And there is a heavy set fella running naked through the gas station parking lot. You can tell that it just freshly rained. Lots of rain clouds in the sky. So it looks like weather is going to play an important part in this game. Here we have a gentleman uh, doing something highly inappropriate on the highway. General Custard Cannon posted, Only in Leonida is a crotch grab an apology for bad driving. You see that this gentleman has duct taped his car door uh, to make it a little bit more solid. Uh, there's a billboard in the back that says, Wanted for panty sniffing. Perhaps that's the TV show we were just looking at, the cop show. It looks like some sort of show, maybe. Or maybe it's just a wanted poster. And then we see the road signs going east, Vice Beaches, Port VC Keys, and then going west is to the VCI Airport and Kelly County. And then there's another billboard in the back that I can't quite make out. Here we have your mama's jammer, RIP Rudy, see you in heaven, cuz. You see you driving a nice uh, tricked out truck with Vice vinyl and wrap like it's... I can't tell what that says. Rap like it's something. And then ride out customs cross town. This gentleman is driving with his feet. Another thing you should not do. Not if you want to live. Here we're going by a gentleman who is watering his overgrown lawn or jungle, more like it. Uh, almost completely butt naked. Getting a little sunburn. I would be willing to bet 
that you can get sunburned in this game. Our characters will be able to get sunburned. You can wear sunscreen. If you don't wear sunscreen, you're going to get darker or red. Here we have what looks to be like an in-game TV show, Thrill Billy Mud Club. A bunch of people enjoying the mud and some monster truck action, splashing around, four-wheeling, drinking some booze, getting rowdy. Here we have a Lucha Libre fan. Neighborhood watch don't play around in Hamlet. Um, this is actually based on a real-world event that took place. I don't know if it was in Florida, but a lady out in her night clothes and slippers, dual-wielding hammers, ready to crack some skulls. Here we have uh, some party goers who look like they may have been at the earlier Thrill Billy Mud Club event. Dude is doing some backyard wrestling and landing through a table macho man Randy Savage style. But the cream will rise to the top, oh yeah. Busting some beers. Probably going to fill that one in the morning. And here we get our first good shot, good look at Jason in the game. You'll see that they are driving away. Some cops are headed towards them. The cops uh, sporting the same green and white color scheme from GTA Vice City. I think that's what it was in Vice City. And you'll see a billboard for Angst to Pan. It cures emotions. America's favorite dissociative. There's some billboards here on the right. Uh, alpha, some other stuff. I can't really make them out. And we have Jason. He looks serious. Checking his rear view mirror. Some stubble. He's had a uh, bandana around his face. They obviously just got finished robbing someone. You'll see it checks back over her shoulder. And now in this shot, you can see the moles I was talking about. Some of these moles were not on the bikini girl, but some of them are. Uh, and you also notice closely, if you look at her arms, some of those moles match up as well. So bikini girl is Lucia. I won't hear another word about it. Okay. Here we have some weasel news footage of an accident that occurred on the highway. Looks like a highway patrolman there. I uh, can't tell what's written on that van. Something with an S, Salbury's, maybe. And here's where Lucia starts talking about if they're going to get through this, they have to stick together. They got to trust each other. So it's going to be, seems like this story is going to be really. Uh, Maybe a little bit more serious than past GTA games. You know, past GTA games had their moments of seriousness, but I feel like they're going to take Red Dead Redemption and GTA and kind of blend them together into one beautiful beast of a video game. Maybe take some of the realism and detail from Red Dead Redemption and throw it in GTA because in the past it's been a little bit more arcadey and arcade style than Red Dead Redemption. And if you want to go back and look at some of the leaks, it seems like there's going to be more inventory management with singular items, like maybe we can go into a store like in Red Dead Redemption, steal specific items like cigarettes, jewelry, sell them at a pawn shop, um, zip tie people, throw them in trunks, just a lot more detail. There's probably not going to be like spinning weapons on the ground with orbs of color flashing around them like in old GTA games or money flashing green on the ground. Uh, hopefully that stuff is gone bye-bye. Here we have a well-tatted up gentleman. This is also based on a real-world event, I believe. Uh, some corrections, sheriff's, uh, sheriff's office footage, maybe some news footage. Here we have a dirt bike or ATV club of some sort causing chaos. Probably a gang that we are going to interact with in some way. And here we have the... Dirt bike, dirt bags. Another Weasel News report. Uh, they are terrorizing Vice City. And you can see the cops are out here trying to stop these guys. You can see bicycles, dirt bikes, various sports cars out here, and some police officers in their vehicles. Here we have what looks like another uh, television show, High Rollers Lifestyle. Probably something similar to Pimp My Ride or something like that. And this looks like what may be the in-game Instagram equivalent at High Roller, High Rollers Mag. And you can tell this, you can see this guy is wearing a Righteous Slaughter shirt, which is the parody version of Call of Duty in, in the GTA universe. There's a billboard in the background that says, Who Hurt You? Probably a lawyer of some kind in the game. Uh, this vehicle, this green vehicle here says, Raised by something out 
Customs. And then this truck here, which is carrying, looks like some vinyl records in the back. Sound for, sound for round or sound for sound? I can't tell what it says. So here we have a shot of Jason and Lucia making their way through a convenience store of some kind. They have their bandanas pulled up around their noses, so they're obviously robbing this place. Some liquor here on the right. Um, piss washer beer advertisements in the back. Uh, some E. coli. Or E. cola, I'm sorry. Uh, a lot of in-game uh, products that have been around for quite some time in the GTA universe. But this looks like before the shot we saw previously where they were you know, driving down the road and looked a little scared and they had their cash in hand. This is probably right before that scene, I would suggest, or I would think. And here we have a shot of Jason and Lucia spinning out around the road here. It looks like they're in an older model vehicle. Some sort of Chevelle, maybe. Lucia, sounds like she's excited. She's having a good time. She's not too stressed out, not too worried. You can see a pawn and gun shop in the background. And this is obviously probably near the start of the game before they acquire much money. You can see an advertisement for WHS shoes in the background. And here we have a shot of Jason and Lucia in a hotel room, it looks like. And they are having an intimate moment. So this is where we actually get confirmation that these two are probably romantically involved. Jason doesn't appear to be wearing uh, many clothes. And they are having a very deep conversation about whether or not they can trust each other or perhaps how they need to continue to trust each other to keep this relationship healthy. And this is another scene that makes me kind of think that maybe Jason is a police officer. Maybe... Uh, that's one of the reasons she might not trust him. Maybe that's where some of the conflict comes from. Maybe she's pulled him into a life of crime and she doesn't know whether or not he's actually all that loyal to her, perhaps. Who knows? But there's going to be some sort of conflict somewhere. And this is the Bonnie and Clyde story, let's not forget. So this thing's going to end either one of two ways. They're either going to go down in a hell of bullets and gunfire at the end of this thing or they're going to somehow survive and somehow escape captivity. And they end the scene by saying, trust, asking each other if they trust. And here we have what I think was the shot even before the previous one where they were actually walking through the convenience store. You see their vehicle parked outside. They're kicking open the doors of this place. Uh, you can see the Petty Forever sticker on the door here, a reference to Tom Petty whose song they are using in this trailer, which is fantastic, by the way. The music works so good for this. You can see a few product advertisements here on the door. Uh, Lager Light, uh, Dignity, which only 99 cents, pretty cheap. And this store is called Uncle Jack's, I think. Uncle Jack's, Uncle Jack's Loyalty. Maybe that's some sort of rewards program for this store. Who knows? And that is the final shot of this trailer. Wow. I mean, what can you say? Does it live up to the hype? 100%. It's absolutely beautiful. It's everything I was hoping it was going to be. Um, like I said, GTA, my favorite game series of all time, aside from you know, Red Dead Redemption 2. Rockstar Games, my favorite developer. No one does it like Rockstar. I think they're going to innovate on this title and do things that we never expected. Um, perhaps, you know, stuff like surfing, fishing. I'm sure there's going to be some sort of twist with the dual protagonist. Is there going to be co-op? It looks like the story is going to be much more serious in tone. I'm blown away from this trailer. I can't wait to see trailer two. I can't wait to see a little bit more of Jason. And I just really can't wait for Rockstar to start updating their website and showing us some of the activities. They always update their websites to show us some of the activities and things we can do in the game world. And I cannot wait to see that as well. So for me, 100% excited. I think the game is definitely going to live up to the hype. Uh, they've never let me down yet. Uh, what about you guys? Did you like the trailer? Are you excited? I know you are. Come on. And I know I don't normally do things like this on this channel, but like I said, a GTA only comes around once in a decade, and I thought it was only fitting that I do a video like this. If you enjoyed this video, let me know, and I'll do more stuff like this. I'm actually thinking about doing 
a dedicated video for the Game Awards and showcasing all of the stuff that Xbox showed at the Game Awards last night. Anyway, hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'm going to take this stupid hat off. Thanks for exploring the wonderful world of video games with me. I am Ryan, and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.